first of all i want to thank you guys for all the support on the last details video but i got a couple more for y'all that you guys are actually going to be surprised at some of them if you've seen them before oh well let's go on ahead and get into this video y'all let's get it so the first one that i am going to start with here is jimmy hart he has unique animations in wwe 2k24 which i think is cool it makes the dlc stand out it gives the managers new animations i think that this is a cool one i do wish that they gave us access to jimmy hart as a non manager uh just because the dlc is already so limited and it's not that good and you know he's just a manager he can't do anything else which i get it at the end of the day but um i just really really like the whole stuff that he does with just the taunts and everything you see him using that new weapon and yes new weapon and yeah man jimmy hart you see him get into the ring and him and the referee are fighting over the weapon it's just little things like that little details that make the dlc always stand out more and more so definitely a fan of this really really hoping to see more dlc stand out in the near future with just animations and stuff that we haven't seen before in the game another one guys that i did notice is the eo sky she has a new championship entrance again 2k outdoing themselves with details and entrance motions and things like that i don't know what 2k got going on that every patch they feel the need to give us new entrance motions and stuff that we weren't really expecting or waiting for i think that it is a big win for the community to see these championship entrances get added into the game such as dayak eo sky it's a win you know what i'm saying big fan of the eo championship entrance as i think that that's something that we weren't expecting and she even has like a much you know different motion she comes out she holds the title up very very different to what she had before and i think that this is something that they were going to add before in the game or even on release date but they needed more time and they gave it to us now and going back to the new weapon guys yeah there is a new weapon and i think that it is a pretty cool weapon the fact that they continue adding weapons into the game is cool i just think now we got to expand that weapon wheel because i think that we now want more options to have more weapons in the game let us go crazy one little detail that i do want to nitpick is tables going away after they break keep the broken table in there let us do that you know let us do a big old mess after everything breaks keep it there and that's just something you know uh it's a minor detail that you would like to see added more realism in these extreme rule matches that we do you know do in this game and i think that it is another win as well seeing details weapons entrances stuff like that added into the game i think it just breathes fresh air into wwe 2k24 this wasn't the most perfect patch this patch might have even broken some stuff i'll go out there and say that but uh you definitely like to see the attention and just the attention to detail that you're getting especially when they're adding new things into the game so that's just one of the pros but you also have one of the cons with this patch where uh some stuff did break apparently so we'll see what's going on with that and guys i did mention the drew mcintyre corner finisher was timed properly it wasn't delayed anymore but it wasn't just for that one the spear was fixed as well it looks like all of the corner finishers were fixed uh in terms of the delay there was always a slight delay on the finisher that i always felt myself in the gameplay it wasn't a huge deal because it didn't affect the move in any way you can just tell that there was a slight delay there and now there is no delay i think that this is cool gameplay wise because it makes the game play much smoother things like that it's just the little details that they're working on getting stuff you know to look complete look right so i think that that's just one that was a minor fix but i think in the end when we use these wrestlers such as drew mcintyre roman reigns braun breaker those with corner finishers um i think that it is a win once you see the smoothness and how smooth it is compared to what it looked like last patch some my faction cards were teased and we're getting john cena 06 the miz 2011 and happy corbin you look at the john cena 06 that's a super cool one i think that we can have fun with that the miz 2011 that one is you know when he was at the top of his peak prime championship you know contender miz i think that it is cool that they're adding these into the game we've had 06 cena before we've had 2011 miz before so it seems like they're kind of going back putting those back in the game it depends how we can get these though we've talked about it before i'm not going to repeat myself but let's see how easy they are to attain let's see how hard they are to attain we really don't know what we're in for yet so yeah 
I just wanted to go on ahead and mention this for the my faction heads. I think that this is a huge win, you know, seeing those persona cards get in the game. I think right now, aside from, you know, the 64 bit models, we want to see more different attires, different Titan Trons, different theme songs get in this game through the persona card feature. A lot of the stuff that we want to see is not the goofy stuff. We want to see more just different variety of attires. You look at the 64 bit models. Yeah, you'll use them a couple times, but let's be real. How many times are we really going to be using those so that's just my two cents when you look and talk about my faction and the persona cards and what they have to offer so that's just it with me man and if you guys did notice and get on wwe 2k24 you know that there is a new patch and that is patch 1.11 nothing crazy was updated but i'm here to go over the patch notes with you guys adjustments for the upcoming my faction the mastered series so as we all know most of these patches are to support my faction add different things to my faction so this was expected when i heard that patch 1.11 was dropping my gm did get a couple of upgrades price cost tuning for arena logistics a set cost tuning for arena logistics ticket price tuning for arena logistics capacity tuning for arena logistics reduced talent scout search cost of icons legends and immortals so it looks like a ton of updates for logistics is in my gm now for those that do play my gm you guys let me know down below if you're happy about these changes because i'm not familiar with my gm at all that's probably my least you know played mode in the game it just don't get my attention because i'm not into staying in there and working on objectives and doing this and doing that i just want to do my own thing which is why i enjoy universe mode so much and universe mode did get a slight update address the reported concern of rivalry action news not generating while progressing through universe so not that much in this new patch for wwe 2k24 it did catch me by surprise it was about 2.6 2.7 gigabytes so a decent size for those you know that were looking forward to something more decent but for the my gm heads it looks like this patch was more to fix that stuff and and see where it goes now guys to round up this video dlc wise i'm not too crazy about it post malone's moveset did not hit the expectations as i thought it would you look at you know the honky tonk man cool stuff but doesn't really you know get me hyped jimmy hart i do really really like him he might be my favorite character out of the entire dlc i'll be honest i just like the unique animations they gave him it makes him really stand out across from all of the other wrestlers I thought Post Malone was really going to have a cool moveset and I feel really disappointed with that. So with this DLC, man, I'm not too crazy about it. Just as I thought right before the DLC dropped, I just try to get myself hype and optimistic. And uh, yeah, I disappointed myself. Now we are on track for the Pat McAfee pack and uh, we have to see what that has in store for us there is a lot of potential for a lot of brand new moves entrances and things like that on there so we got to keep an eye out for that but stay tuned for one more details video y'all make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this video i'm gonna catch y'all peace